this is problem number six. So six says that a particle moves in a straight line, so its position in feet from a starting point after t minutes is given by this formula. Number six. So we have that s of t is equal to six p squared minus t cubed. Okay. So it says find the displace displacement of the particle and the total distance traveled on the interval of 0 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 5. Okay, so the displacement is the easier one than the total distance. So displacement, all we are going to do is we're going to find s of 5, and we plug it into our equation. So we have times 5 squared minus 5 cubed. So we have 6 times 25 minus 125, and that is going to equal 25. Okay? And then we have S of 0, the beginning of our interval. So that's just 0 minus 0, which is 0. So our displacement will be S of 5 minus S of 0, which will be 20. Because if you look on a line, it's at 5 and it's at 0. So to figure out how far, we need to figure out this distance. So we take this distance and subtract it from that distance, and that gives us the displacement. Okay. So the total distance is a little different. We also need to know when it's traveling in the positive and in the negative direction. So in order to do that, I need to find velocity because velocity is when it's moving, position is when it's still. So velocity is the derivative of the position function. So I have s prime of t equals v of t. Okay? So v of t is going to be 12t minus 3t squared. Now I'm going to set that equal to 0 to find the critical values. So I have 12t. I'm sorry, I'm going to factor. So I'm going to factor out a 3 and a t. So I'm left with 4 minus t equals 0. So I have t equals 0 and t equals 4. So when I put them on a number line test from 0 to 5, so 0, 5, and 4. And I'm going to plug values into my velocity equation in between there, and I'm going to get here is positive and here is negative. So if you plug 1 into here, 12 minus 3 is a positive value. Okay? So now I'm going to find all of those values there. So I'm going to erase the total distance. So I need to find s of 0, s of 4, and s of 5. Okay? So we already said this was 0, and we said this was 25, and then s of 4 is just going to be 32. Okay? So now I have these values, so it's like, what do I do with them? So from 0 to 4, from 0 to 4, he traveled 32, right? And then so from 0 to 5, he traveled 25. Because here, he was going in the negative direction. So we think, what would be from 4 to 5 has to be 7, because 32 minus 25 is 7, okay? So from here to here, it's 7. So we need to add the total distance. So we do 32 plus 7, which is 39. Okay? So the displacement equals 25, and the distance equals 39, and this is 20 feet. Okay? 
So just to review, when we found displacement, we just did S of 5 minus S of 0, and we found that value, which was 25. But then when we did total distance, we found the velocity function, which is the derivative of the position function, because we wanted to know when the particle is moving, and something's moving means that there's velocity. And so we found the derivative, we set it equal to 0 to find the critical values, and then we saw when it was moving in the positive direction and when it was moving in the negative direction by picking values and plugging it back into the velocity equation. And we found, then we found S of 0, S of 4, and S of 5 plugging into the original, which were all my critical values. And I found that from 0 to 4, he went 32, then 0 to 5 was 25. So from 4 to 5 had to be 7 because 32 minus 25 is 7. So then I add the 32 and 7 because I want to know from 0 to 5 and I get 39. So your displacement is 25, your distance is 39, and that's choice B.